a very different kind of video today. Are you ready for this view that is directly behind you? <laughs> I could just stare at this all day. Oh, it's, I feel like I'm in heaven. And it's actually snowing right now as well. I don't know if you can see. So this is the view from our chalet. And it's so peaceful. I was up here last night before the sun went down, just looking into the mountains. They're so beautiful. This really isn't the best angle. <laughs> so low. I'm wearing all perfect moments. And I'm here with two girlfriends, my friend Kagi and Sarah. And the most hilarious thing happened yesterday morning, on our first morning, we went up for breakfast all dressed, literally wearing the same outfits. I'm not even kidding. Like we are head to toe in the same perfect moments, pattern, <laughs> but all slightly different. Like we've all got a slightly different ski jacket, but the same pattern. <laughs> What are the chances? And like Sarah's partner had bought her the jacket as a surprise. Like there was no way that this could have been orchestrated. Kaki's is older and then mine is new for this trip. <laughs> anyway, a little bit about where we are. I actually wasn't planning on filming this ski trip. Like we got here day before yesterday and yesterday was our first day skiing. And I genuinely think yesterday was like my favorite day of skiing like in terms of where we are this whole setting the chalet everything and I thought why haven't I filmed like <laughs> I'm actually really sad that I missed all of yesterday filming but like I said I wasn't I wasn't planning on doing it and so this morning I've picked up my camera I'm going to film today we're leaving tomorrow morning but I've got a good chunk to show you and um so we're in Courchevel and Oh, I need to just mention, so the whole reason we're here is ALS and they are this luxury ski concierge group and the way that they have organised this entire trip has just been exceptional, like they have been incredible. So as you know, I have been so fortunate and privileged enough to have stayed in some of the world's best hotels. I've been very, very lucky and so I've experienced luxury. The way that ALS have planned this whole trip, the itinerary, just the help they've provided in terms of like even where we're going to go for lunch, which I know is what a concierge do obviously, but their standard um, has just been completely exceptional. So I need to give the team at ALS the biggest shout out because I genuinely will be using them going forward. I want to come here again, where I'm staying with my entire family next year. And I'm just like manifesting it because I can just imagine this being the perfect place to bring the whole family. So ALS um, have brought us here to the Ultima collection, which is the Ultima Courcheval. And it's a fascinating setup. So they're all different chalets. And so we're in our own chalet. It's four floors I want to say one two three four floors I'll show you in a minute like the setup it's a four floor chalet but it's part of kind of a hotel like you arrive into a hotel lobby and you have all of like the benefits of uh, hotel facilities like a gym an incredible spa I went to the spa last night treatments had a massage um, like all of those kind of hotel facilities a full like boot room with staff helping you and uh, but you're in your own contained chalet it's such an interesting setup and i've never experienced this before and that's why i say i 100 percent want to bring my family here because i know with like a big family sometimes having your own completely independent chalet you can be a bit on top of each other um also you don't have all of like the benefits of hotels but sometimes a hotel isn't quite the same here is like the best of both so I'm just like, I'm just completely blown away. All three of us, like when we arrived yesterday, we were just, day before yesterday, we were just like, this is unreal. Like the best ski experience that I've had, like in terms of the chalet, the setup, the help that we've had from the ALS team, the staff here, like 
amazing. Um, oh, it's snowing, look at this. Couldn't that just be a painting? It just feels magical here. There's something about being in the mountains where the air is so clear. The, f oh, just, it feels, I feel alive. <laughs> I don't know how to put this into words, but being up here in the mountains, I just feel alive and excited for life. Wow, this looks amazing. Merci. <laughs> we have French toast, homemade banana bread, <gasps> pan au chocolat. These look like pancakes. <gasps> oh, what a treat. So this is at the back of our chalet and you can't see right now because no one's up there, but oh, are they people? No, they're not people. Uh, this is a slope that comes all the way down and we've got a little terrace. Not that we have used that at all. We've just been in here really cozy. <laughs> and then the living room is through here. So basically we have a lift from the reception. You come in through a normal like hotel room door and then you come up to the third floor and this is where we have our living room and um, a little breakfast area and Colleen, our amazing butler, good think. morning. <laughs> and the rooms are just downstairs. Okay, I've just come downstairs. Because we've only just woken up, our rooms aren't um, presentable. So I'm just going to show you an example of one of the rooms that we're not using. This is actually one of the smallest rooms. I think it is the smallest room actually. And they all have these incredible terraces all around. And um, this is on the bottom floor. So yeah, later I will show you my room <laughs> because it's beautiful. And then I'm excited to show you this. We were not expecting this room. This is our cozy cinema. We actually haven't used it. I feel like we should have a movie night tonight at least. But how beautiful and what like a what am I trying to say? A luxury addition <laughs> to a chalet to just have a cozy cinema room. This is why I can imagine my family here because I can just imagine all the kids in there after a long day of skiing, like cuddled up with some snacks, a hot chocolate. Like there really is just something for everyone. Also the spa. I know I've already mentioned the spa last night, but I think I might have to pop in just to show you the view. Okay, so I've just done my first run and I'm working with an instructor and turns out I have like this bad habit where naturally I lean back in my butte. So he's teaching me to lean forward, which is really weird, like to completely change your technique. But um, it's amazing the difference. So, mm, feels cold today. And here's Sarah. Hey babe, there she is. The pro. Hello, <laughs> Oh, so these are the chalets, by the way, that I was talking about this morning. And I think ours is this one here. Yeah, that looks about right. And then the boot room is just underneath. And here's Roland. Bonjour. Hello. <laughs> the best instructor. It's a beautiful day. The sun is shining. So I'm halfway down a very, very easy slope. Like it's, it's still the morning. I'm with Sarah who's having a lesson and I don't know the mountains well enough to like navigate on my own. So I'm kind of like just going up and down a couple of um, simple, easy slopes. But I just wanted to stop because I remembered something um, that Kagi and I were talking about this morning that I loved because we both do the same thing when we're skiing. So if I get a little bit like nervous or lose a bit of control or just start feeling any kind of anxiety come up, any fear that I'm going to fall or that I'm not good enough, literally when that happens, I verbally out loud say to myself, I love skiing. I'm good at skiing. I've got this. I've got full control and I'm good <laughs> and I've got this and skiing is amazing. And I just like, Literally, as I'm turning, I'm like, I love skiing. I love this. 
I'm not scared, I have no fear. And I just started doing it down here, even though it was really easy. I didn't have any fear, but I was just like, woohoo! <laughs> just like flying down, like, yay, wee! <laughs> anyway, Kagi said that she does exactly the same thing when she's like off piste. Kagi's really, really good. She's an amazing skier. And she was like, I just like <laughs> scream down the mountain, like, wee! <laughs> I just thought it was so funny that we both have like a similar thing that we do. Also, I feel like we could kind of use this in life. Like when you have fear that you're not good enough, just say, I can do this. I'm great at this. I'm amazing. I love doing this. It's amazing. Like the power of words. Also, I've got Invisalign in, which is why I'm talking a bit funny. so funny I feel like these things always happen when you're skiing I was just on a chairlift on my own and there were a couple of British guys um, next to me chatting and then I heard one of them talk about my hometown and I was like I'm from there and turns out he goes to the gym with my stepdad what are the chances <laughs> Some people here are absolutely incredible. I've missed it, but just now there were like 10 people zooming down the mountain. Oh, no, wait, I think we're gonna get a couple up here. Here we go. I'm looking at the top right. I think lady in white. Woohoo, straight skis right down. And then guarantee they'll do like a sudden stop, make it look super easy. And whoosh. when I was little, I used to love Wallace and Gromit. Wallace and Gromit, not Wallace in Gromit. That would be a very different show. <laughs> Wallace and Gromit. And I remember there was a part where they went skiing, but they were skiing on the moon. And now, when I'm skiing, especially at a distance, and they see like all these little people coming down asleep, it just reminds me of Wallace and Gromit skiing on the moon. Does anyone know what I'm talking about? And that's where we're having lunch. Nestled in the mountains. Wow, this is our table. Okay, I can show you the room now. So, bathroom in there. And then this is my bedroom. This bed, by the way has been insanely comfortable. I've had the best night's sleep here. And then you've seen the view from upstairs. Yeah, every morning I've been opening these doors and just standing out there taking it all in. It's beautiful. Oh, I'm super tired now. Today was a really good day of skiing and um, Kagi and I skied down after lunch back here and um, it was good. It was really good. We we had an instructor with us. One of, it was Sarah's instructor, and so we took him down um, with us, and he really helped us with um, technique and everything. So I feel like we've had a really good full day of skiing, which is exactly what you want when you're only here for two days. <laughs> so yeah, we've been really lucky with the snow, and. Um, yeah, we leave in the morning. So I think the plan is we're going to go and hit the spa, sit in the sauna, sweat it all out. And then we've got a nice dinner here. We might watch a film later. Then I need to pack, pack everything up and then we leave super, super early. The final morning, just packed up my suitcase, getting ready to go and get some breakfast and then we'll be heading home. Do you know what? 
I was a little bit like, oh, is two days skiing enough? It's, it's quite a journey getting here um, all the way from London because it's a long drive from Geneva. But I must say, it has been such a perfect trip in terms of the timing, the amount of skiing that we've had, two like full days of good skiing, perfect weather conditions. And funny enough, look at this now. It's so foggy. I mean, look at this cloud. That doesn't look real, does it? Oh, I love being in the mountains so much. I'd really miss this feeling. The fresh, crisp air in the morning. Oh, can you hear the birds? So peaceful. <sighs> Makes me emotional being here. I don't know what it is. It's just stillness. Yeah, stillness. And I was talking to my ski instructor yesterday about my, my method. <laughs> Because he was like, Naomi, you have no fear, you just go. <laughs> and I said, do you know what? It's quite interesting because um, Sarah and Kagi have noticed how my skiing has massively improved in the last two years since we last came skiing. And I was definitely more nervous, definitely more edgy two years ago when we were in Maribel, which is the same kind of area. And I haven't been skiing, I haven't practiced or anything at all since then. And the only difference, the only change since then is my mindset. It's the only thing. And I was talking to my instructor, I was like, look, my method, it's not, I haven't learned a technique or, you know, there's nothing that has changed. But I just tell myself when I, if I feel scared or even when I'm not scared, even when I'm loving it, I just tell myself skiing is so beautiful. This is so much fun. I'm so lucky to be here. I'm so grateful to be here. Um, I'm amazing at skiing. <laughs> that's when I'm scared. If I'm like, this is getting pretty dicey. I don't know if I can do this. That's when I'm like, I can do this. I'm amazing. I've got control. I just like repeat that to myself out loud. And I noticed yesterday, which is something I didn't say when I last explained this yesterday. I sing it. <laughs> so I'm like singing down the mountain as I'm turning like, I can't even... I can't even remember what I sing or how I sing it because it's like, it's quite <laughs> natural. <laughs> oh God. But I just start singing. I love skiing. No, it's not that. <laughs> I could be so lucky. That it's that song. And then I sing like about skiing to that song. And the whole way down, I'm just singing my way. And um, it's all like positive, uplifting. And I feel like words are so powerful and even if you're faking it and telling yourself that and you don't believe it you don't have to believe that you're amazing I'm actually not an amazing skier at all <laughs> I've really like learned about my technique this trip because our instructor was amazing but words are so powerful that you don't even need to necessarily like believe what you're saying because your body absorbs those positive words and eventually you'll start believing it and I worked with this um, amazing healer in Bali called Jim Doyle, and he's a mind-body healer. And he's the one that taught me all of this. And he works mostly in a different way. It's like physical pain. He'll um, work with your physical pain with your words. I'm gonna switch arms, this always happens. Ah, oh, the dead arm. And so he'll find like your physical point that's um, a bit like weaker or more painful and you'll repeat certain words that he tells you. More specific to just like, I love skiing. It's more like, I trust the ground that I stand on. I trust the path that I'm on and the direction I'm moving in. I trust all men, I trust all women. It's that kind of thing. And it's incredible the impact instantly, like that, that it has on your body. And I think it's because of those sessions that now if I feel uncomfortable, if I'm feeling scared, I'll just tell myself, I'm relaxed, I'm so calm, I've got this, I, everything's under control. And it's amazing how it changes everything. And I think that's the only thing that has helped with my skiing. 
So I just wanted to share that because I told Sarah and she was like, I love that, I'm gonna try that as well. Um, Kagi does that as well. She was like, I just like sing my way down a mountain. And I think it really helps the experience. I mean, it's fun anyway, right? Um, so yeah, I just wanted to share that little piece because <laughs> my instructor said as well, he was like, I've never heard anyone say that they have that technique. And he was like, I'm gonna use that. <laughs> So I think it can be applied to, I mean, skiing, sport, but also life. If you're doubting yourself next time, try repeating to yourself that you've got this. You've got everything under control. You're amazing. You know what you're doing. Everything's fine. Everything's going to work out. And life is a gift. And on that note, I'm going to love you and leave you and I'm going to make my way back to London, so I will see you back in London. Lots of love. Mwah.